Freedom fighters, stand up. Why you love what you hate this much? Now corrupt leaders, they rule us. All of them are not talking, not just they watch. I seen Leo Lobo, you could tell a dog. Even I know dog, everything go worst. As the matter they now, we don't worst. Nearly all of us don't call us. Hey, 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 I think the only way forward to actually mobilize people in this time and age where people are a bit tired, fatigued, battle fatigued, is when you come out with creative resistance. And I think the Occupy Nigeria movement, a title that I don't really like and I don't endorse, I would say the Nigerian protest movement. Um, showed how creative Nigerians are when it comes to, to protesting. And when you are creative, your oppressor doesn't know how to handle you. They don't know how to silence you. And, and that was the beauty of, of this whole exercise because we proved to ourselves not only are we capable of protesting, but we're capable of being creative. And being a Nigerian, I think you have to be creative. That's the only way you can survive in an environment that is programmed to destroy you. My experience on the streets was I uh, mixed feelings. Um, a lot of things happened, a lot of things, you know, insinuations, the thoughts and talks and enjoyment. I really enjoyed it because I wouldn't have done anything else rather than protesting at that time that I did. And, um, you know, meeting a lot of people from different uh, walks of life and um, all of them sharing the same idea and uh, thought that you shared at, at that time was a fantastic and awesome experience. I, I really, really enjoy being in the streets, protesting for the future of this country. somebody that believed that collective protest is the way forward and I did a song called March Into Our Soul and seeing it manifest right before my eyes and seeing people demand their rights and people actually going out not as, as peers or five, ten people but in their hundreds and in their thousands it showed me that, that what I've been cooking up in my studio can transform into a reality and I, and I saw people that identified with what I've been doing for years so it, it kind of like made me not only feel proud about what I'm doing but it, it kind of like fuels me and it, it's kind of like what I'm living on what I'm feeding off for my next album that I'm producing because I know that even though I don't do popular music I might not be the reigning artist but but being a voice and voicing that which a lot, hundreds and thousands of Nigerians are feeling, maybe millions, that, that it is very, very important. The protest. Yeah, for uh, the memory, you know, actually, I wouldn't say. At least I know that Nigeria can never remain the same after the protest. I'm sure. We can't remain the same, Nigerians can't remain the same, and Nigeria as a country will never remain the same. I haven't said that. Um, I think that um, it's a good thing documenting what really happened. 
at least if something like this won't, if we can't get it like this anymore, but I, I'm sure that we're going to get higher ones when Nigerians start to realize again that they are being bamboozled by all this madness that Jonah and, uh, is what to. But I think that it's, it's good to really really document it. <laughs> Nigeria is not a country where you can actually predict what happens next. But I know that whenever Nigerians come out on the street again to protest in such magnitude that we saw in January, this country is going to change for real. I'm sure. I think when you have been militarized and you've looked down the nozzle of a gun for such a long time, it takes a lot of courage to fight your fear. And I think Nigerians have confronted their fear and that's why they, they could go out in the streets. Now the thing is, how do we transform this to a movement? That's the challenge. Kawa fa bo fe